Let's say I'm at some sort of establishment, and there's someone acting completely unhinged over something trivial. Let's say they're screaming and jumping up and down. If at the time that's happening, I get the idea in my head that that person has a mental disorder, does that translate to hate? Perhaps they've just had a bad day, and they're still having a bad day, and this was the final straw. Perhaps I'm missing some sort of context that happened right before I arrived. And then perhaps maybe they really do have a mental disorder. I know I have some mental disorders, and I try to keep in touch with reality as much as I can. But is my analyzing whether this person is a wingnut really just me analyzing how much I hate them? This may sound like a strange question to ask, since we're talking about someone screaming and jumping up and down over something trivial. So, obviously, something is going on with this person, and to wonder about it does not translate to hate. But what if we're talking about people wondering if someone has a mental disorder for other things? Let's say someone thinks that gay people have a mental disorder, that homosexuality is a mental disorder. This person thinks this. Well, does that translate to hate? If someone thinks that my homosexuality means that I have a mental disorder, does that translate to hate? To me, it becomes hate the moment the person tries to make life more difficult for gay people, whether via legislation or social banishment or shaming techniques. I mean, if someone thinks I should not be able to live a happy life unless I somehow change my sexual orientation, yeah, I would consider that to be extremely hateful. But if someone thinks that homosexuality is a mental disorder, but they don't think anything should be made difficult for gay people, they think gay people should be able to have the same rights as everyone else, that we should be given the same dignity as human beings as everyone else, then I honestly wonder how it could be said that that person is hateful. Now, the nature of how they think it's a mental disorder makes a big difference, too. If they think it doesn't have a negative effect on society, okay, then fine. I mean, where's the hate there, right? If they do think it has a negative effect on society, I guess it would depend on how exactly they feel that way. Why do they feel that way? What specific things make them think that? If it's just about people not encouraging society to create more children, you know, if it's, if it's about... People not encouraging people to carry on their genes, then eh, I mean, whatever. But if they think there's some sort of sinister element to it, somehow, and that gay people are conspiring to spread mental disorder to other people, then, well, yeah, that's, that's pretty hateful. When I think about that even further, perhaps they could be just against, you know, LGBT activism as it has been existing over the past few years. Maybe they're just against that. And it's nothing against actual gay people. You know, I wouldn't consider that hateful either. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe someone could explain this to me better. The Abrahamic religious arguments against gay people is a completely different thing altogether. There are people who think that if God hates something, then they should hate whatever that is too. You know, that humankind should hate it too. And if that's directed against LGBT people, then yeah, I, I would definitely say that that's hateful. I don't think there's any question that that's hateful. Then there are those who think that if God hates something, it's not their job to hate whatever it is, that they should maybe even take a little pity over the people who represent the things that God hates, in some sort of hope that maybe they'll change the people into not living in a way that they think God hates. This one is kind of difficult. I mean, if they go around telling gay people that God doesn't approve of them, that's obviously very negative towards gay people. Whether they think that it is or not, it's, it definitely has a negative effect on gay people. We would have to be able to read that person's mind to know whether or not they actually do understand that it does hurt gay people, and they do it anyway, and, and that would be hateful. But if they somehow don't really realize just how much this hurts gay people, then it's either just stupidity or a lack of empathy at that point, or maybe a mixture of both. And at that point, it's, it's kind of up in the air, you know? Is that hateful? Does that translate to hate? I don't know. Then there are the people who don't really care at all about the Old Testament, and they only follow the teachings of Jesus, which really have little to no negative effect on really anyone. 
Obviously, I would prefer more people of that latter category, but, you know, whatever. But the way things are going, all of the things that I mentioned regarding LGBT could be considered hate speech by some people. I had a discussion with someone, it's a very short discussion, with someone regarding that video where, where I talked about how I am, I feel very, very fortunate to live in a country that has a First Amendment like we do, where this person was basically declaring that if we allow for hate speech, then it will allow for a new Hitler to come up. He said that here in the United States, we have this fetish for free speech absolutism. And because of it, we carry ourselves like elementary school kids. That the Founding Fathers were uneducated idiots, and that we're no longer a superpower and will never be one again. I replied by telling him that in the UK, people are being arrested for posting insults on Twitter, and that it really looks like they're kind of headed towards a demolition man reality as far as what you're allowed to say. I never got a response back for that, so... But, you know, does this stuff translate to hate? Who gets to decide what is hate? Again, I'm thankful for the First Amendment. Thanks for watching.